good morning. It's a frosty uh, 30 degrees out, so not quite the 60 degree weather that we had last week, and I miss that. So we're loading beans this morning. Um, just about got one of these little bins empty. Got another little bin that I'd like to get empty tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. Pretty good chance of some snow. Only about an inch and a half though, so nothing too major, but don't really want to get the semi out. Um, the roads are going to have salt and all that on them, so trying to uh, keep the rust on the truck to a minimum. So we're just about full, um, pretty much got the truck loaded. Um, it's going to look like I'm really, really overloaded, but I promise you I'm not. Uh, with soybeans and the test weight on soybeans versus the test weight on corn, it's almost impossible to overload this trailer. I've had it over 80,000, like maybe a handful of times if that, but of all the loads we've hauled, it, you really, really, really got to try to get this trailer overloaded. It's a short trailer. It's not a tall side trailer, but it, I've got just as many axles as the guys pulling the, you know, 41, 42 foot hopper bottom. So it's pretty hard to overload it with soybeans. Corn, you can overload it, but you guys will see me heaping this thing absolutely full. I promise you, it is not overloaded. For example, we're pretty heaped up and full, well over the bows for the tarp, but I can show you the scale tickets. We're still not overloaded. So we are full and the farm is right there, but uh, actually not gonna head down to Newburgh right away. I'm gonna stop at the farm. I've got a meeting at 10.30 with a uh, retailer. We're gonna go over all my fertilizer programs for all my different farms next year. Um, for example, this one that's nice and ripped, um, that's gonna go in corn next year. So, gonna have some anhydrous, DAP, potash, 28% nitrogen, uh, which is just liquid nitrogen, and then some ATS will be what I'm running on that field. Um, well, that'll be what I'm running on all, pretty much all the corn programs. But uh, yeah, got that going on. And um, then we'll head down to ADM after after we're done with that meeting. So that's the game plan today. Well, the fertilizer meeting went good. So should be growing 300 bushel corn next year, especially for what we're paying for it. But I'll be happy with anything over 200. Um, but we're on our way to Newburgh now, so gotta pay for that fertilizer somehow. So, got a load of beans back here. Off we go. Now, you see that semi up there? He's going the wrong way. See, he's got two brand new MacDon Drapers on his trailer up there. He's going the wrong way because my farm's that way. He needs to be dropping those off. Although I'm pretty sure they're 45 foot, I got a blowtorch and I could cut them down to 30. Pretty sure that's how that works. Cut them down to 30 foot, it'll work just fine on my combine. I'd love to have a draper head. So if anybody knows of a 30 foot one out there that's for sale for a not ungodly price, let me know. Gotta be a flex draper though. I don't want a rigid one. We're gaining on him. We're gonna let him know, turn around and take them drapers back to the farm. I would really, really, really like to have one, but they're expensive. They're pretty much the cat's ass for cutting soybeans, but they're expensive. I mean, it's the wrong color, but I'd take that too. Well, we've made it. We got two other trucks right in front of me, but it didn't look like there was hardly any line whatsoever when I was coming in, so can't beat that. Um, hopefully pull right up to the scale. We'll 
pull right up to the probe, I should say. Get around the corner here and we'll know what we got. And we don't have a line at all, so happy to see that. Nice, easy day down here today. Definitely can't beat the line today. Although I've pulled in straight under the probe before, but waiting on two trucks isn't bad at all. Doesn't even look like there's gonna be a line to dump by the time I get over there. Can't beat it. So the black semi sitting there, the nice Volvo, um, that's Ivers. So Ivers Farms, um, there are west of me about a half hour, 45 minutes, but he made a video the other day. He's also got a YouTube channel, throw that in the link, but he made a video the other day down here where he was flying a drone around all over this. It was a pretty cool video. So I'll put that in the link below so you guys can kind of see the operation down here. It's kind of neat, really good video. So we were just under 80,000 pounds, but the test weight on those beans was really, really good. Uh, 56 and a half, or 56.4, so we'll call it 56 and a half, but it's really good test weight for beans. Well, we're back. So we'll get things fired back up here. Get another truckload. Auger one. This is auger two. Right there, maybe. If I could get it plugged in. There's auger two. And then over here we got auger three. Whole lot of augers over here. Right there. That's running. Open it up. Wait an hour and we'll have a full semi. Life's good. But it'd be better with eight inch augers instead of four. Oh well, it's storage. Slowly but surely getting the load on here. Uh, they are nice and clean. As you can see, there's really no pods or trash to speak of in them, so. Combine definitely did a pretty good job. So this is our fourth load coming out of the bin. So it's a small bin. We've got the door opened up. We'll be putting the sweep in any time. Definitely be putting it in this load, but pretty clean beans in here. I mean, there's a little trash around the edges, but nothing I'm too ashamed of whatsoever. Really, really happy with the job that combine did once I got it dialed in and set right. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it. Not too dusty either, which is always nice. Almost there. We're well over half swept out. So, little bins, it doesn't take long to get empty. Well, we didn't quite get the entire bin on the semi, but we definitely got the semi full. So come back in the morning after we take that down to Newburgh and pull the rest of this out and get started on that bin. Once we get done with that bin, we're waiting on Pioneer to come pick up the seed beans out of that bin. So it's really all the beans I personally have left, but there's about 14,000 bushel of beans back at the farm for the guy I farm with um, that are still his. So plenty of hauling left to do, but getting most of mine pretty much knocked out. He just, he's sitting on his grain and waiting um, for a little bit better prices, which so far has worked out really good for him. So I don't know, this is all contracted. So got to haul it either way. Since the farm's only about two miles away from the grain bins that I'm just at. Um, we're driving nice and slow on the way home. It's all pretty much gravel. Kind of let those beans settle down 
um, in the trailer where it's a little easier to tarp. So I've got them heaped up pretty high right now, but that last load was still under 80,000 and it was more full than this one, so it's all you can get on this trailer with soybeans. All right, you guys are gonna follow me for more recipes after this. You take your cheap microwave bacon and you microwave it just till you get your plate greasy. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Then you take it out. You got your bread, it's already buttered. Well, you take your bacon and you just, you chuck it out of your way real quick. And then you got your bacon grease on your plate. You smear some bacon grease with that butter. And then you smear some more bacon grease with that butter. Then you take two pieces of cheese. You got your variety, you know, you gotta have a variety. Then you take some bacon, slap it on there. Take some more bacon, you slap that on there. Then you take your American cheese, because we're not a commie. And you open that up one-handed off camera. You put your cheese on and that's how you make a phenomenal grilled cheese sandwich. Now, not to brag, but this is going to be grilled to perfection. See that pretty golden color? It's right where you want it. Not charred, not black, cheese cooked, bacon cooked, cheese melted, you get my point. It's perfect. The only thing better is to use actual bacon, not the microwave kind, fry that, put your bread in it, get your bacon grease in the bread, get your butter in it, clog your arteries the correct way. And to make it even better, you take some brown sugar and you sprinkle that on the bread, kind of rub it in there and it'll melt into the bread. That's what makes it real, real good. For a side, we got some chopped up pears. You throw them on your cottage cheese. They're fresh pears. They're from FFA, so you can't go wrong there. Gotta support your local chapter. You got your nectar of the gods, Midwest water, whatever you wanna call it. And you've got a perfect golden brown, grilled to perfection, grilled cheese sandwich. Good morning. It's windy today. Got some rain last night. Go see how much we ended up getting. But I don't think we have any more rain in the forecast for like two weeks. But we do have a lot of snow, so not looking for that. About an inch and a half. Good enough. Come on, go on the ground. Oh, right there. Looks like we're just about to run empty. You can see the hole there, so it's about time to be putting the sweep in. Let these beans fall in as they want to freely. Don't have too much longer of this. We're gonna have to put the sweep in. All right, we're slowly but surely getting the truck load. Got the truck full, working on the back. Got the sweep in and kicked on now. It's slower than smoke, but it's doing the job. It beats shoveling it. Bunch of happy girls. They're having a good old time. All the food that they could eat. Got hay bales fresh, fresh ground feed. Life's good for them. Plenty of pasture to roam too. Got happy cows way down there. Nice ripped ground everywhere. Full grain bins and a good program for a good 2021 crop. So everything looks good from up here. Even got a nice full semi. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. 
Um, it's a little chilly up here, so on that note, I'm gonna go inside and get a nice hot shower. We're gonna let the pickup warm up a little bit. It's got remote start, but uh, I left my keys in it, so that didn't do me any good. But as you can see, it's pretty frosty out this morning. So the ground is froze. And we're gonna go knock some field edges down and clean up some field edges with the bush hog just because the ground is froze. Um, not really doing a whole lot. I just wanna kinda clean up some stuff and knock some small trees down. I would have done it this fall, but I didn't have time. Um, harvest kinda took priority. And so, yeah, we're gonna do it while the ground's froze because I'm not gonna have time to do it next spring either. Well, the ground was really starting to thaw out this morning, so put the bush hog back in the shop. Didn't want to rut anything up. When the ground's froze, you can kind of get away with it, but it's definitely muddy when it's thawed out. So got the Magnum back in here beside the Steiger. Of course, the Magnum's dirty again. Just cleaned it, but we're gonna go take some ground feed back to the calves and try and catch about five of them. Try and get them hauled off this afternoon. Well, my truck needs gas. And since it's so cold this morning, we're gonna go ahead and get this tractor fired up and warm it up. She's not liking it, but she'll start. There we go. She's not enjoying it, but she did start. So we're gonna let this warm up for a while. I'm gonna run and go get gas right up the road while this thing warms up. And we'll be back in just a minute. I gotta say, it's a little unconventional to be out bush hogging in December, but got some paths like this that go back to the fields that I wanna keep wide enough that I can get down with the bean head on the combine. So any little little tiny trees and stuff we're gonna mow down just so we can get back in here to this ground um i don't know we'll see what we do well we stopped and got gas and a nutritious breakfast so on the way back to the field got to support your dairy farmers it's actually a prairie farms dairy right on top of that hill so supporting them all right, it's time that me, an old girl, and some chocolate milk get some things done this morning. So you'll have to ignore the dirty windows, but uh, here's what I'm doing. You got your grass out here, and we're just chopping things down, keeping them cleaned up, keeping any little trees from growing in these terraces really like to keep the trees out of it. I want the grass, but don't really want the trees. So by clipping them every couple of years, um, it'll keep them pretty clean. And I just, it looks better and it maintains the terraces, maintains the waterways to keep them clipped down. So that's what we're doing. Just cleaning up some field edges. The grass down through here was, well, it looked like that stuff so just clipping the edges making it look pretty from the road well my wife dumped me off on the road I gotta walk and go get my pickup she said she didn't want to get her car dirty come back here so she's making me walk but I don't think that her uh, Chevy Equinox would have wanted to off-road back here there's some pretty gnarly ruts so probably best she didn't drive back here So basically this farm goes from that hill over there to right there. There's probably a hundred acres over there. And then you zoom out here. You got this field on top of this hill, it goes way back there, clear down to that tree stand way down there. And then there's two more fields over this hill so basically you're farming the hilltops and the valleys, but 
um, the hill sides and where it's steep there's a big waterway down through here um, but where it's real steep there you don't farm but the rest of it is going to be left to grow up in trees i mean it's not not even worth being in hay it's so steep um, it's awful kind of also kind of rough out here but uh it's what what i buy pickups for is to beat them up but pretty nice farm Looks like there's a little bit of a line but not too bad it's only one wide so we can live with that and not to brag but uh, I hit every green light on the way in here and those of you that have been to Newburgh ADM coming off I-69 you know how many stoplights there is between I think there's there's three or four it's not terrible but they're back to back to back and I hit all three of them when they were green. Straight through, didn't have to stop, so it's a good day. Well, it appears that everything's all backed up today. When you see people backing off of the inbound scale, you know just to stay put and get weighed in. Definitely a few trucks and trailers down here. It's all backed up today. Well, I was wishing I was in dump one. I'm in dump two, but at least I'm not in dump three because these trucks are wrapped all the way around the dang, uh, well, they go all the way around these grain bins and the third dump's over there. I don't know if you can see that truck, but it's quite the line for dump three. Pretty backed up right now. Sitting here waiting in line. Sounded like a shotgun went off guy behind me blew a tire just sitting here it's a really bad way to end the day they close in like five minutes so that sucks all right we got our ticket home have I ever told you guys how much I hate daylight savings time I think the government's the only type of people that would cut a foot off of one end of the blanket and sew it on the other end of the blanket and tell you it's a foot longer it's basically what daylight savings time is and it's stupid <laughs> 